Hey, what's going on, beautiful jellyfish? It's Tracy. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time in your day to hang out with me. I really appreciate it. I have the cats in here, which is always just kind of like a mixed bag. You never really know how it's going to go with having cats in here, but we just are. We're chilling. They're, they're having a good time, hopefully. I think. Yeah, they're just hanging out. They're doing fine. Also, I'm rocking my new Formula One shirt. Got my Hamilton 44 on the back. Any F1 fans in the house, leave me a comment below. I'd love to chat with you about some Formula One stuff. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be doing my updated 2022 magic wish list. Now, to be honest with you, I still very much feel as though we are in 2020, that like these last this last year has just been like a continuation of that year. So it's very hard for me to like move on that we are in 2022 at this point. But here we are. Um, so I'm going to be doing my updated wish list, which I did this video for, I believe, two years. And I've also done my fantasy wish list, which are cards that I will basically never acquire, like a Judge Promo Foil Gaius Cradle, which I would love to own. It's like my fantasy self is that I own that card, but I'm, I'm never going to get there. It's OK. So we're doing this in this video. I like foil magic cards a lot. It's one of the things that brings me just so much joy in the world is acquiring new foil magic cards. So if I don't mention, if, if it slips from my brain and I don't say it, I want the card in foil. Okay, we've had that understanding. I'm really glad we had this conversation. Okay, so we're going to be breaking this down. I'm not going to be mentioning every single thing on my wish list, but basically how I do this, how I organize this is I do this in a couple of different ways. The first thing is I kind of do my wish list by like price. So I will get a lot of like the, the less expensive stuff. And then over time that will just build and then I will just have like a ton of things that are like on the more expensive side. And I do prioritize certain decks over other decks. So there's some decks that I'm really not going to be you know, getting a lot of cards for, um, which I will mention, um, which I guess I'll just kind of mention just as like a general overview right now. So decks that I'm really trying to focus on this year is going to be kind of Omnoth because Omnoth has like a lot of foils. Like Omnoth and Angels are in like that same boat where it's like, I want to get stuff for them. But like at the same time, it's like they already a lot of the stuff that I want is like on the more expensive side. So I do have a couple of things. I want to get a couple of things for Alila this year. Zombies I'm not really touching. Ladies I want to get a couple more things for. Um, Tasa I want to get a couple more things for. The deck's undergone a lot of changes. I'm definitely going to do a deck tech in this upcoming year for Tasa because it's changed a lot. So I'm really excited to show you guys that. Um, I feel like this is the year of Riku. I want to get a lot of stuff for Riku this year. Um, so that's definitely a big priority for me. And I also want to get a lot of stuff for Reen, which I'm not going to be mentioning in this video because I actually haven't done a deck tech on that, but that's going to be my next deck tech, which I believe I will be doing either in January or in February. So we'll be on the lookout for that. Um, so yeah, that not really going to be touching Merfolk or Moogus. Those are kind of like decks that I don't always play. Um, and then I have kind of like a general wish list of cards, which I might mention some of those in this video. So Let's just deep dive. Let's jump into it. So, okay, first card that I'd like to get, and this is kind of like, I have kind of like a general wishes, which are like where I want like multiples of the same thing. And I guess this card could go in there. I just have to figure out what decks I want to put it in, which is probably everything. But I want to get the Prismatic Vista, the Retro Frame Foil. So I really like old borders, which if you've been following me, I have not always thought that way, which is a very interesting change of heart on my part. I don't know why I feel that way all of a sudden, but I really would love to get the um, this one in the retro frame foil, which I really like. This card got reprinted in, was it Modern Horizons 2? I think is what it was. Yeah, Modern Horizons 2. So I'd like to pick that up. Um, that's the only card that I want to pick up this year for Omnoth, but that's not to say that I won't pick up other stuff, but um, that's the one card that I have on my list right now. For Alila, Alila is kind of like my like, I love Alila so much. Like, I played that deck the other day. Paul and I were just playing some 1v1 games. And I just really, really, really enjoy that a lot. Um, some cards that I would really love to get is... And I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video on this because I don't really like the unsets. But I really love the lands of the unsets. But I never really care about the rest of the sets. But, like, the full arts and stuff, like, all that stuff, I think is just beautiful. So I really want to get the playset of the un affinity full art foils for this for this deck and I don't love all of the unfinity foils I do for the most part 
but the which one is it the watery grave is probably like the most beautiful card like I've ever seen it is absolutely stunning I really want to get the playset or not the playset but I want to get the um the three of those the watery grave the hollowed fountain and the godless shrine for Alila. I'm very weird about sets matching I'm very weird about a lot of things I'm very weird about my mana base like I want all my lands to be the same I I don't I I don't know I'm I'm very strange about it like also too if I like commit to old borders with some things I want like other things to have old borders like zombies is that way where zombies has like a lot of old border stuff and like if um there was like just to give you an example there's the um what is that card called? Um, Vanquisher's Manor. I only want the old school border for zombies, but I don't mind the pre-release timestamp for other things. I'm a very strange individual. I don't know how to explain myself to you, but yeah. Anyways, that's what I'd like to get for Alila. Um, okay, four angels. Oh, also, I got my um, uh, cinnamon, no, cinnamon apple. Yeah, cinnamon apple tea from Bigelow. This stuff is delicious. I'm sipping on that right now. So, for angels, I really want to get a Sword of the Animist foil. I have been playing with Sword of the Animist for, I swear, since it came out. Like, it, it's been printed in Origins, and then I think it also came out in a Commander set, if I'm remembering correctly. Maybe a Commander set or two. And I love this card. I think Sword of the Animist is a great card, and I've always really loved it. But it's never been, it's only been printed foil one time. So I think I've been like, oh, putting it off, putting it off. Like it'll get reprinted in something foil. It'll get reprinted. And like, I just don't know if that moment's going to happen. So I want to pick one up for angels because that's like one of my next projects because I cannot believe I forgot to mention this to you guys, but Tassiger is fully foiled. Can we just like take a moment? Just take a moment. It's done. We're done. I'm so excited about that. So um, I might be doing an updated deck tech this year so I can show off the whole deck in its beautiful foil glory. It's it's truthfully a work of art. It should be in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, if you ask me. So anyways, I'd like to get sort of the Animus for Angels. I also want to get the Borderless Foil Urza lands in Angels. So I, Paul had gotten the playset of these. He got the Borderless ones as well. And um, he got them for Karn. And so Paul had already had like the foil ones from, I don't even remember what set, but he had like foil ones, but then he saw these and he was like, I need to get those because they're just so beautiful. And I was like, I agree. And I've never really had a cause to run them in many things, but I, do, I did put his foil ones, but not the borderless ones in Angels. And I'm like, I kind of want to upgrade and get like the borderless ones because they are really stunning. And I know they're Tron lands and I know I hate Tron, but I just it, it fits it's like a monocolor deck the deck is really high cmc it makes sense you know um cool and the last card that i like to pick up that's on my wish list this year for angels is amara the sky rune this is kind of another similar card to sword of the animist where it just hasn't been printed like a ton i think it's only been printed one time in foil which is the zendikar foil this in like a i don't even know like a box topper type of situation i feel like would work really well this card is awesome goes by the radar for like a lot of people but it's really good so Okay, cool. That's angels. I'm um, not really touching zombies. Um, ladies. So first off, I would like to pick up the Sidisi Undead Visor Visor. I don't know how to say that. The time stamped foil in this deck because she's an absolute house and I love having her in the deck. So I'd like to pick that up. And the other card for ladies that I want to pick up is the Supreme Verdict Buy a Box promo foil. So I want to get both of those for that deck. Tisa is going to get a couple of cool things. Um, I have a couple of things on my list. The first is I want to get the card D Spark, not the um, the Strixhaven foil, but the like the the etched the um, War of the Spark art. I just that's one my favorite art, so I want to get that in foil. It's pretty cheap, so I wanted to pick that up. Um, then I also want to get for that deck. Um, the card Vindicate, the um, Borderless. I love this art. I think it's incredibly, incredibly stunning. And I just want to run it in something, in something. And I was actually picking up cards today. And um, I went to go add this to my cart. And the card was like $3. And then the, the shipping was like $4. And I was like, that's just absolutely egregious. So I just decided not to do that. But I will be picking that up this year, hopefully. And also I want to get the Hour of Revelation, the timestamp foil. I have a bunch of these timestamp foils, the Hour of Revelation in a bunch of different decks, but I just need to pick another one up for Tesa. Okay, I mentioned Riku, it's coming. So there's a lot of pieces that I need to pick up with Riku. And I'm only going to mention a handful of stuff because honestly, I have to go through... 
I really need to do like because I did I did a deck tech if you haven't seen that because I was requested a ton to do it and I finally just did it because the deck is like super rough and I don't really know the direction that I'm going with the deck and I don't really know what I'm going to do so um I got to kind of figure out like what I'm going to do with that deck so there's cards on here that I'm like regardless this card's going to be in the deck and then there's cards that I'm just not sure of so it's kind of a little jank but I definitely need to do like a big overhaul and just figure out what I'm doing and taking out and all that kind of good stuff. These are cards that I'm like for sure I'm gonna want in the deck. The first is the dual caster mage. I want the judge promo. Um, this card's been printed a ton of times but I want the judge promo because I like the little swish thing. I don't know what it is but I want it. Then I want the alchemist refuge in foil. Either it got printed in gosh why am I drawing a blank on what that set was called? That had like 108 foil cards and then it had the little planeswalker symbol in the corner. I'm blanking on what that set was but it's been printed two times in foil with that and Avacyn Restored so I'd like to pick it up. Um, then I want to get the counter spell either the Modern Horizons 2 borderless foil or the I forgot the name of it there will be a picture here but it's the one that's only in Japanese and it was, I don't even remember what the promo, like what it was for, but I feel like that would, I don't know. I kind of really like that art and I have this Modern Horizons 2 borderless fo foil in something else. So I don't know. I think it'd be cool to get that. Um, another card that I was thinking that I think would be a really great card to put in Riku, which I don't have, so I would need to pick one up, is Time Warp. The one on my list is the one from Strixhaven, the um, Mystical Archives. A lot of the Strixhaven Mystical Archives, I actually like, surprised myself by how much I enjoyed a lot of those. So that was one in particular that I just really love the art with. So I would love to pick that up this year because um, I think that would just make the deck a lot better. Another card that I would like to pick up is Rite of Replication Foil. This is another card that I've been like, this card just needs a reprint because I think the only foil is in Zendikar and it just needs to get reprinted. You know what I mean? So... Um, and the last card that I want to pick up that's on my wish list um, for this deck is Dryad of the Elysian Grove. I want to get the timestamped promo for this deck. The deck, Riku is a little bit like sensitive in that it needs kind of a lot of mana acceleration and it's very specific about its colors and things like that so I'm kind of thinking about ways of cards that I can get that would just make the deck better and this is a card that I think would really help so I do want to pick that up and yeah I'm not going to talk about Reen I'm not going to talk about Merfolk or Moogus in this deck um but I guess kind of like I will talk about kind of like my general overview wish list of cards that I need like multiple copies of so the first is I want to get a bunch of the command tower the extended border foils and the soul ring extended border foils I think in my life I've probably ordered the most from commander legends than any other set I feel like because they have just so many good staples and I'd really like to get I want to get the soul ring extended border foils for all my decks same thing with command tower I do need less of those because I don't need one in angels because it's mono colored same with zombies so I need like two less of those but I need to pick up a bunch of those I think I already own one foil command tower and one foil soul ring so I just need to pick up the rest um of those so guys that is everything I'm not mentioning everything here my wish list is about three pages right now um so yeah not mentioning everything but just cards that I'm probably going to pick up in the future probably not going to be doing an updated fantasy one because truth be told that's probably not going anywhere anytime soon so um yeah that is it for me in this video I really like to know what cards are on your wish list if there's any cards that you're looking to pick up this year I'd really like to know about it and comment below if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll catch you in my next one